In 1977, the video game industry in Japan was not very developed. A few Pong type consoles existed, but none of the more modern cartridge based consoles such as the Fairchild Channel F and the RCA Studio 2 had made it to Japan yet. Takatoku, a toy maker in Japan, wanted to release a system to compete with Nintendo and Bandai. At the time, General Instruments had just released the Gemini 8600 concept which allowed companies to release a cheap, cartridge based video game console using parts provided by General Instruments themselves. Takatoku saw an opportunity to be the first to market a system based on this technology in Japan. Released in October of 1977 as the Takatoku Video Cassette Rock Service Set, it became the first cartridge based video game console ever made in Japan. The service set has paddles and came with six ball game cartridges and was sold for 13,800 yen, which is about $500 today converted and adjusted for inflation. Two months later in December, Takatoku released the basic set, which switched the paddles for joysticks and came with the eight ball game cartridge. The basic set was the most expensive version selling for 17,500 yen or about $650 today and it was also possible to purchase the console itself with no game cartridges for 9,800 yen or about $375 today. There were 7 games in total made for the system including a tank game, car race, stunt rider, and two audio synthesizer cartridges. The video cassette rock never really caught on due to the competition of the Nintendo Color TV games and the Bandai TV Jack consoles, making it very rare and sought after by collectors today. This video was a segment from my Iceberg documentary on every single video game console ever made, so if you're into that sort of thing, you should definitely go check it out. You can follow me on all social media at Iceberg Docs. Like, subscribe, click the links in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.